Hello and welcome back <clears throat> to Caves of Cud. Uh, we're going to start by unmarking pretty much every layer unless I haven't been there. Apparently I haven't been to this one. Um, I think we're officially done with basically all of those layers. I checked every single one that I had previously visited. Ooh, what is this? Cradle of Gersh Bethsaida near Bethesda Susa. Uh, what? Cradle of Gersh Bethsaida. Uh, that sounds interesting. The lair of legendary Sultan Croc. Oh, I, uh, well, they're an unshelled reptile, so they wouldn't necessarily snap my face off. Uh, legendary bloated leech is good. Lair of, well, we're not doing mad poles. They're fish and they don't like me. Uh, Batboon we could do. Legendary gi Giant Dragonfly, we've done that one. We did Legendary Mechanimus, we did Legendary Glowpad, Legendary Salt Kraken. Okay, what are we left with? Why are some of these marked? Oh, Legend Spider Friend. What? I, I, okay, hold on. Layers. Sultan, is it uh, my name locations that are on? Yeah, that's what's up. Legend Bear, Hated by Barons. I think I've visited all of these now. Legend Gnu, Hate Warden. Legend Mecha, Ooze Rep. I don't know what happened to them. Legend Spider, Friend. I, I've, I'm just going to unmark all of these and assume that they're done. Um, I wish I had a better way of organizing this. I wish I had a better method. Hey, let me know in the comments. What's your method for, like, marking legendary creatures and then, like making sure you keep track, uh, a log basically of like, which ones you've visited, which ones you've dealt with. So you don't have to, uh, what is this legendary dervish? Oh yeah, that's uh, we don't go there. We, we do not go there. Um, we've got quite a few historical sites. I'll mark them, but there's a good chance that most of them are going to be, can you please, uh, most of them are going to be un. Oh, we don't need to do Dune Appear. Dune Appear is one we've already done. And Shawan. We've already done Shawan. Um, so we'll do the... We'll have a look at those. What do we got? Uh, so we've got a Gersh Cradle. Notes. The Cradle of Gersh Bethsaida. Is this a, something new at Bethesda Susa? I wonder... Um, and then we've got here, Legendary Shrewd Baboon. Um, I'm gonna, I'll visit a couple of these, but, uh, I really want to finish the dunes. I'm sorry that it's been so long that I've been working on this. Um, but I, I really just want to, like, do things right. We've got a snapshot for it. We could check this out. Apparently we've already checked this out. So I'll go ahead and, uh, turn this off. And um, apparently we do know where we have sna we have some snap job forts. We could check them out and um, see if they've got any legendaries. We know of a lot of goat folk villages. Those are going to be less helpful to us. What is this? Shishruma Mo Laws Homestead. And then Shawar. I don't know what that is. Are those uh, apparently I haven't visited those. Are those, uh, settled, like, genuine settlements that I haven't been? Ushawa... Ush... Ush... Ushwashowa... Oh, God, I... I, I give up. <laughs> the real final boss of Caves of Cud is, um... Trying to pronounce some of these names. Uh, alright, go back. So those are settlements. Do we... Are there any ruins with Becoming Nooks that we haven't been to? Apparently there are. These are all, by the way, secrets that I've been um, obtaining passively via trash. Uh, there's tons of ruins that we could visit. So, um, maybe I shouldn't enable these because that's going to confuse our historical site business. A secluded merchant from the Consortium of Phyta, which I apparently have already visited. Historic sites. We've got Badal's five items of terrifying visage. I need to find that mod. 
All right, um, natural features. We'll just have a quick look at this. Sap weep, water weep. We, we're good on those. Lava weep. We could visit a lava weep. We could. Rust bog. I've been to all of those rust bogs, so we're good on that. Sap weep, gel weep, salt weep, wax weep, ink weep. All right, so these are, oh, no, flaming tar pits that I've been to. Okay, we're good on natural features. So let's leave this. And we can go to this legendary croc layer and uh, potentially break bread. Apparently I gained, is this a quest? Do I have a quest to visit this? Was this a uh, part of a village? Let me just make sure. I did have a, I did visit a village uh, that was like obsessed with unshelled reptile stuff, right? But uh, I'm not looking at travel. Okay, recover salt spangledicus. No, no, that's just a visit a historic site. I'm not sure what the deal is. Anyway, so this is a legendary croc. Shouldn't be too bad. Hoping, yeah, I mean, we're on good terms. We're good. It is really nice being on good terms with unshelled refts. It's a lot of work, you know? It's a lot of work making friends with uh, snappy crocs and adjacent lizard friends. All right, we're good. I think that the, there's a glow pad in the water and I think it just being aggressive, like it gave me a dirty look. Uh, oh, we collected some fresh water. We are carrying quite a lot, so I might need to, uh, we might need to visit a stilt or something. Where is all of our weight? I guess it's in water right now. We could disassemble a few grenades. We don't need this many grenades. Disassemble. Um, I don't need acid gas grenades. They're, they're nice, but they're not necessarily helpful. I guess if I'm going to disassemble a freeze grenade, it should not be the non-airfoil. Okay, so that's good. Uh, light sources, melee weapons. Uh, I am going to disassemble the pneumatic jackhammer. It's a really good item, but it's like, I like it, but it takes up so much room and um, it's nothing I can't replace with a recipe. Like, a recipe will do the work of a nano pneumatic jackhammer. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of good. Why is the... Why are we on bad terms with Trash Monk? Are they... I thought Trash Monks were pariahs. Luckily, me killing that hermit didn't put me on bad ends with uh, the surrounding folk all right still looking looking for a legendary croc i don't know what's up with the coloration in this game it, uh, i like i cannot find i don't i don't understand why like it's creatures are not displaying correctly like i can never see a pink legendary anymore i i don't know what's up i have night vision but like i you know like what's what's the deal What is going on? Something was like shooting fire. Was it the croc? I wonder if that's the legendary. Are you the legendary? Yes, you are. Okay, um, what's your deal? Dislike by mollusks, brathermites, and the gersh. Um, again, I would kind of like to have some gersh rep, but if it's only disliked, I think I'm okay with that. I don't care about mollusk rep anymore. It's fine. I don't like it doesn't matter. Um, I can lose 50 rep with the Barathermites. Honestly, I'm at negative 600 and something with the Gersh. That's not untenable. I have some secrets. Oh, apparently reptiles care about a lava weep. Um, I don't really want to spend any unshelled reptile rep. Rather, I would prefer to kind of like slowly um, switch to better armor. 
And we don't need these crocuses, actually. Um, so let's switch to bounding boots. Bounding boots are plus 15 move speed. I, I need some better boots, but I don't mind having those for now. I do wonder if, um, like, the... Oh, we'll pick that up. Is the move speed averaged? This is like one of those... One of those things you'll see in a Caves of Cud patch notes. It's like, if you have multiple legs or multiple feet and you're wearing bounding boots on one, the move speed is averaged between two of them. Like, that would be patch notes for Caves of Cud. Okay, uh, we continue to improve our reputation with unshelled reptiles and I'm, I'm, I'm glad for it. Swine. Oh, that's a very bloody, uh, salt hopper. I would like to improve our reputation with, um, insects. I, I like being on good ends with insects and there's a couple insects that are really nasty. Um, is there... Is there something we want to make? Or is, are there recipes that we still don't have? I guess we don't have our freeze-dried horse shroom and uh, star apple jam just yet. We do need to make some more banana recipes. Uh, none of those. None of those. Got a little bit of garbage. I love me some garbage. Truth be told, I mean, a lot of uh, factions are worth being friends with. I like insects because uh, there's so many of them and uh, they're just kind of a pain, you know? Like, if you're not friends with them, they're just very commonplace. And so, uh, it, it, you know, it's a constant source of, like, obstacle. We found a ruin. Let's check it out. Fortunately, we're not on bad terms with Equin. Equimax, um, I like, I actually like putting Equimax on the grind, like, you know, killing, killing Equimax, um, is very good XP despite their docile nature. It sucks the way that works, but sometimes it does. Um, and they're not too difficult. Uh, there, I, I thought, well, I, I thought there was a legendary bird, but I didn't realize there was a legendary ape. Hated by the villagers of Sharkamore, admired by Chava. How's our Sharkamore rep? Sharkamore is like not great, so I'm cool. Engaged with hand-to-hand -hand combat. Why? With birds? <laughs> okay, let's separate these two for just a moment. Hey. Get, get out of here. There you go. Ape rep is increased. Chava is increased by 100. That's the first little bit of Chava uh, reputation I've managed to scrape together. I don't think I need conch still. Um, do you have anything to trade? No, not really. Okay, we're good. Goodbye, friendly ape friend. Uh, we're no longer lost, and uh, I'm just making my way over to this other Snapjaw fort. Snapjaws are mostly hated by, like, all factions. Uh, except Gra, of course. Gra, Gra is beloved. Legendary uh, Snapjaw war warrior uh, Gra is, is loved by all factions. But, you know... Um, they're they're a useful foe because you can build some build some reputation by killing some of the mis miscreants. Okay, not seeing any legendaries yet. There's usually like one legendary at these snapjaw forts. To chain, say hello to my chain laser. <laughs> Absolutely demolished that lad. 
I gotta make sure I'm, I'm checking the little uh the top right of the log to make sure that if I'm next to a snapjaw it's not a legendary because if it is I want to look at them and gauge if I want the reputation from killing them or from p potentially making friends because the odd snapjaw legendary will have allies that you might want to make your allies well this is this is kind of nothing honestly take a we'll take that Sakari rifle rusted okay i don't think they'll mind if i take that uh goodbye snapjaw warrior wow there's there's like nothing here seems like they've already been raided okay next snapjaw fort uh that is not a legendary that is not a legendary but we got a beaded bracelet that guy had a serrated two-handed there's a not zero percent chance that they could have dismembered something i'm always a little bit nervous by anything that wields a serrated blade because i know the numbers game and the numbers game is not in my favor sometimes <laughs> Oh, you shot an arrow at me. Check this out. Probably shouldn't do that. Mostly because... Uh, treat these as scrap. There's a, a not 0% chance that I could, like, accidentally kill the uh, legendary if there is one. I haven't been seeing any legendaries, though, so that's a little strange. What do you mean no legendary... Snap jaws. Are these just like whatever, like normal snap jaw settlements? Like just average, like nothing, nothing uh, exciting snap jaw forts. Like they, they got nothing going on. They don't even have a slide. They don't have a pool. They don't have a slide. Yeah, we're lost. That's fine. I, I really should um, get wayfaring for canyons. I just, I don't like to spend the 50 skill points on it. How much skill points do we have? We have 190 and also one mutation point and an attribute point. Uh, we could throw the attribute point on intelligence. We really have a long way to go. We need 29 intelligence. Uh, wait, we're at 24. Do we have enough for tinkering too? We do. Let's take Tinker 2. Um, Visage. Dithermo Beam is actually quite fun. I do like the Dithermo Beam. I think Visage is better, though. Uh, all right, so what we're going to do is... Well, first of all, let's go to our data disks and learn a bunch of them. That's, that is clearing out quite a lot of inventory space. Wait, what? What? I didn't mean to I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> you already know that recipe. Apparently you can use data disks to tinker something. I didn't know that. Um, I don't want to know how to make an Isakari rifle, but I do want to know how to make a light rail. Light rail is a very good item. Musket. Uh, we already know salve. Why did I want? Why did I learn how to make a musket? That was so stupid. I, I just said I don't want to learn how to make an Isakari rifle. The musket is objectively worse. <laughs> like in every conceivable way. <laughs> uh. Oh right, we have a flamethrower. Um, I do kind of want to know what the grappling hook does. Grappling hook. Uh, ganglionic teleprojector is now trade goods. Fairly heavy trade goods. We have a lot of oil. I'm going to go ahead and pour this oil out into another container. Um, I'm just going to... All that. And continue pouring into this container. Yep. Now it's empty. Um, and now we'll set, we can set it to, uh, like next time we see some lava, 
That's gonna get nerfed, by the way. There's no way. I know uh, me and Narf had a discussion about why it does or does not make sense. And I understand how it makes sense, but I, I still think it'll probably get nerfed at some point. Cause like it makes the um it makes the gyrocopter function far more as a means to make money than it does as an actual, you know, object of flight. You know, like I just think that it 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 uh, its function completely shifts over from like intention to like byproduct. I'm not first of all just to I'm like super clear here. I don't think it should be nerfed. Like I don't I'm not calling for a nerf here. I would never I wouldn't dare do that. I just think at some point someone's gonna have a change of heart and make a case. But if it if, you know if it doesn't end up happening, then that's fine. I, uh, I just like, I, I'm, I'm always surprised by that feature. Okay, so we've actually got, ooh. The judgment of Methramad one was revealed to the people of Shawar through defending water. Aren't we on bad terms with this village? They got a lot of really fun looking plants and they have fungals too. Is this the village that is like obsessed with a consortium of Fida or something? I think we are on the good on good terms with the consortium of Fida. Um, so what do we got? We got a mushroom warden. Why Weinstein Frond the sensible. Okay. What's your rep? Hated by Cragmench and Antelopes, but loved by the villagers of Shawar and Vines. How much how's our antelope rep doing? Not great. How come uh how come you don't have any consortium of phyta rep? I guess it, just because they're a plant isn't doesn't necessarily mean they're part of the consortium of phyta. All right, let's have a quick look at the other one, the legendary jilted lover. What's your rep? You don't have any. Cool. Um, okay. So, oh, and they have they just have a village tinker. Do you have any rep? Nope. Okay, but you probably have some stuff. Fitted with cleats. I do like fitted with cleats. It's fine. Blood Gradient Hand Vacuum is a handgun, I think. Yes. Hard to tell from the data. Um, they actually have some kind of decent parts. They also have some... Okay, we really need to get that um, recipe that lets us... I I'm just going to... I'm going to... Uh... If I had pickled mushrooms, it would be so much easier. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it with um, vine wafer sheaf. Better to have it than uh, and then improve it rather than like not have it and keep trying for the improved version. Uh, whenever you drink fresh water, that yeah, there it is. Okay. Um, now control F. Wa. Drink. Uh, I'm gonna do it a couple times. Control F Y. K K. Okay. Um, Control F Y. K K. All right. Let's see if we know what he has now. Nope. Still no. Okay. Control F Y. K K. Oh, I I didn't do it. Control F Y. K K. Yes. Control F Y K K cool. Uh you have it okay, so those are cybernetics. Okay, um that was kind of a waste of time, but you know it's okay. So do we want to sacrifice reputation with antelopes for village rep and vines? Yeah, kind of do. Um, Cragmensch, you know, it'd be kind of nice to be on good terms with Cragmensch as well. Wait, what? Oh, oh, there's actually a, um, there's a log now. It's it, that that got added. 
Wait, so when you drink enough, uh, it'll just tell you the you flush with the, the understanding of all of these things. Huh. That's uh, that's really nice. I, I I appreciate that. I have to I have to believe Narf had a hand in that, but uh, either way, that's that's a great quality of life. All right. Um, let's let's uh, sacrifice a little bit of uh, our reputation. Disliked by vines. I am disliked by vines. Oh, I see. I I got I improved my vine rep, but it was barely anything. I sacrificed a little bit of dog rep, Kragman, Tatus. Antelopes are not great with us. Um, we don't need to learn that stuff. Is there any work around here? Speak to Rubelhold. Okay, I'll speak to Rubelhold. Uh, where are they? Oh, there they are. Do you have any work? Praise the shadow foulness that you are here, friend. Roaming sophists came to our village the other day. While breaking bread, they spoke of a delightful place, the reach of the coiled lamb of Batels. But they wouldn't reveal the location. Would you be willing to locate it? It would be a great gift to our, to the musical prospects of our village. We will pay you for your labor. We hear that it's located next to the Cyramet Hold. Cyramet Hold. Sure. Yeah, I'll do that. Cyromet hold. Uh, we'll do that. I'm also. Oh my god! I only traveled one tile and I'm lost. It's funny how in all of these like canyon tiles, if there's a there's generally speaking a campfire, and if there is a campfire, there's always a little bit of trash near the campfire. That's a nice little detail, actually. It does make sense that there would be some trash because it's like a holdover from probably Snapjaws hanging out and they they do seem like the kind of uh creature that would just like leave stuff and it also makes sense that we would potentially garner some secrets from that Ooh, free salve injector and a water skin i'll take it the villagers of tashur sowed the fields of some cabal with salt we got some hot gas let's just head in the direction of the Oh, legendary Snapjaw Warrior. Yes! Oh, uh, what? Admired by the Consortium of Fida, disliked by oozes and crabs. How's their Consortium of Fida reputation? Uh, I mean, it's okay. Yeah. You have to understand, as much as I want ooze rep, if I do this all the prices in the world go up <laughs> this really sucks why do they keep handing me these like awful decisions i i really want that ooze rep ooze is increased by 95 to 100 crab rep i mean crab rep is also really good imo Uh, that really sucks. I mean, I, I should be grateful. I'm getting ooze rep. I wanted ooze rep. You, you have to understand. As much as, like, the prices go up now, and that's fine. As long as I'm not being attacked by merchants, like, plant merchants, then I'm okay. And I think I would, uh, I will be okay. But, like, I would much, much prefer, like, ch paying more for items than uh, having to fight slimes. Like, I, I, I've said this before, humors are possibly one of my least favorite enemies to encounter in this game. That's a high bar. That's a really high bar. That's almost higher than uh, saw handers. Because the thing is, is with saw handers, you might lose your arm, but with uh, humors, especially gyro humors, you might lose your life. <laughs> it just sucks. Oh, good. Our gaslight Flissa rusted. Hey, why is, um, why was that horned chameleon not cool with us? Oh, okay. 
Are we? Yeah, we are hungry, so we no longer have that effect. So, and I don't have any more bananas. Yes, I have no bananas. I'm gonna make that joke a lot. You'll have to bear with me. It's your constitutional right to bear with me. All right. Um, stop resting my stuff, please. Oh God. Uh, we don't have any fix it spray foam, so this just kind of sucks. Um, let me see, we have a weird artifact. What is this? Yeah, we can drop that. Small box. What is this? Oh, a box of crayons. Draw. Pestle. Face. Yeah. You draw a pretty picture. Nice. Portable beehive. I love the portable beehive. Best item in the game. I mean, next to Penticeps, of course. Stop picking up Ked... I, 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 kudzu stamp, like, kudzu. Just kudzu. I, I'll, that's all. I'm like, I'm going to leave it at that, okay? Just kudzu. Look at all of this crap. Oh my god. There's so much kudzu here. I mean, I'm grateful that we found a rust bog. Rust bogs are great. But, oh my god. I don't think I've ever encountered a rust bog in the canyons, and apparently a rust bog in the canyons means kudzu. A lot of kudzu. Two hover sleds. Jeez Louise. You know, I'll take them. I know I'm overburdened now. Uh, we're gonna unequip this. And then we're going to equip one of those and that'll should give us enough. Yeah, we have we have tons of carrying capacity now. My gaslight Flissa is reduced to dust. I really should have just disassembled it when I had a chance. God damn it. I, I just don't learn, do I? I was just playing the odds and the odds were I, I, I didn't exp I was hoping it would not rust to dust okay so this is a another box checked um so what's our quest for that that one uh village do 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 located next to the syramut hold okay is that a um, a ruin Syramut hold. God, there's a lot of ruins in here. Syramut hold. Syramut hold. Syramut hold. Not seeing it. Not seeing it. Okay. Um. Is. <clears throat> is it a settlement? Is it a ruin of the coming nook? <clears throat> nope. Oddity? No. Uh, miscellaneous? No. Uh, historic site? No. What? Where? What is it? What? What is it? <laughs> Located next to the Syram Syramut Hold. Huh. It must be merchant. We know some merchants. We should go visit those.
Um, okay. Ruins. Where is it? Where is it? Siren at hold. Uh. Where's Siren at hold? Oh God, I don't know. Silver, some forgotten ruins, some forgotten ruins. Well, if this is alphabetical, and I think it is, then it's not here. It's not in ruins. Where is it? <laughs> Artifacts? Nope. Not Fatals. Not Historic Sites. I, I straight up don't know where it is. Like, I don't know what it... What is the Siremet hold? Natural features? I think I've already been through here, but... We'll look. Nope. Nope. It's gotta be in settlements. There it is. That was a little bit trying, but uh, we got there in the end. So this is Siremet Hold. Let's travel along the canyons. This is going to be a farmer. Apple farmer. Does anyone know if you auto explore, does your character automatically look at the apple farmer's daughter? Also, what's with what's the meme like what is what is it with the meme that the apple farmer's daughter is like an eldritch beast? Okay, so we're here. Uh apparently it's located next to that doesn't tell us east east or west. So we'll just have to, you know, have a look. It's not here. Here, there it is. You discover the reach of the coiled bam of Beatles. Have a quick look. I don't expect much from this. It would be kind of cool if there actually was a Beatle here, but it looks like it's another farm. This, uh, why, why does a village care about this? This is like the most boring location I can imagine. Okay, you're too famished. That's fine. We'll go, we'll eat a meal preserve all of our sta star apple secluded workshop heck yeah but oh legendary adder okay actually that's pretty good because what we can do what we'll do is we're we're gonna check this out real quick um they'll be friends with the merchant guild and they may be able to share us some secrets about where the other merchants are so this is actually good and, and what do you mean there are no stairs what in the heck do you mean how the heck do you get into the workshop okay uh i don't normally do this but i'm gonna go ahead and do reveal all just this one time because it's here and I don't want to spend forever looking for it. Uh, explore zone. I believe I set that to F11 is a good key for that. Yes. Okay. Oh, it's because one of these things blocked the way. Yeah, sometimes it, it helps to do that. I, I, I had, couldn't tell the difference between the walls. If I had seen that it was the grassy wall, I would have would have figured that out. But we, we just kind of shortcut that. We're just about done with this episode. Um, I just want to go ahead and make friends with this merchant and then hand in our village quest. 
Hello, Hatter. So, hated by frogs and the Isakari tribe. Oh, uh, that kind of sucks. I think I'm going to be not okay uh, on okay terms with the Isakari, and I don't care about frog grip. So we're on better terms with the Merchant Guild. We're on even worse terms with whatever that cult is. And uh, the Sakari tribe is getting less and less impressed with us. So we got another 100 reputation with them for that hot goss. Uh, would you gift me your miner's helmet? Tell me a secret. Uh, they're giving me gossip and what I really want is a location. Nope. Someone praised a highly entropic being insulting a Mopango pilgrim. Well, none of that was helpful at all, and I sacrificed a lot of merchant guild rep to make it happen. But, um, but hey, we got a scaled electric snail shell. I'll definitely buy that. Um, that will be helpful. I know we don't need it. I know we don't need it. Um... But it's, it's nice. It's got an insignia on it. Uh, we'll just go ahead and drop this. And I'm also going to mod this with Two-Faced. And we can put something... We'll put mirror shades on our other face. Yeah. You're being watched. How, why are we being watched? What is it? Does the mirror? Oh, the mirror shades give, gives us ego. I forgot about that. I, I wear them because I think they. I thought they um, give us uh, protection from flash effects. <laughs> that's actually really nice. Uh, that's actually really nice. Um, okay, well that's a good way to end things. Are you a baddie? Apparently not. I think you're just a guard. Um, well, I say it's a good way to end things, but I still have one, a little bit of unfinished business. I've located the reach of the coiled lamb of Beatles. 500 XP. I mean, it's really nothing to scream about, but normality gas grenade is not a bad thing, though. Honestly, the homo electric wrist warmer is probably a better deal right now. I know, I know this is like a ton of grenades and all, and in fact, the solar cell wouldn't be a bad idea either. But the homo uh, homeo electric uh, wrist warmer is going to be useful for uh, Bethesda Sousa. So we'll take that. If you are enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. And uh, next time we will be doing more salt dune exploration as well as uh, checking out some of the other places that I had um, discovered via, you know, just kind of passively collecting trash. So enjoy that. See you next time.